Hello friends. So in our previous tutorial, we have learned how to draw bar graph. In this tutorial, we are going to learn a similar thing like how to draw multi-line graph using the Swift charts. So for the demo purpose, I have already included the Swift charts framework in my project. If you are new to how to include a new framework into the project, please refer to my previous videos. I have done some basic groundwork over here. I have just added two labels and three other labels which will represent the legends depending upon the region. I am going to display the sales of three regions. So the multi-line graph can be anything based on your requirement. You can provide your legends here. So in this demo, we are going to have a sales display for a given year. So the x-axis points will display the months and the y-axis will display the sales unit and the line color will be represent black will represent region 1 red region 2 and similarly green region 3 so this is a basic layout of what will be drawn when i by default what i have done is after create i have created a stack view for this regions and given the name as legend stack view and I have kept it hidden. So once the user will click on display chart, then only I have to display the graph as well as the legends. So now quickly we will go to our Swift file and check what all code we need to perform this operation. It's very much similar to what we have done for the bar graph. So I'll be just explaining you the differences what we have in bar graph and what we have to do uh, separately for the line chart. I have already included my Swift Charts framework. Similar to the bar graph, I have created my chart view, which is a global view for my line chart view controller and its type is a line chart. So for displaying and hiding my legend, I have just created an IB outlet for my legend view. I have created an IB action which will display my chart. So very similar to what we have done for the bar graph. I am going to create an instance of my line chart. So my line chart require that I should have a configuration file. The configuration file will represent that what all data will be coming on my x axis and what data will be coming on my y axis. Since I am going to draw a multi line graph, I have to specify the coordinates of my lines that will be displayed. And apart from that, I am going to specify the name or the title for my x-axis and y-axis. So without wasting time, I'll quickly show you how you're going to perform this operations. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create my charts configuration file. So the name of my chart configuration file or the class from which I am going to initialize it is chart config x y there are various parameters you can specify the value configuration you can specify x axis configuration y axis configuration so depending upon your class since we are working with line chart so we have to specify our x y axis configuration so looking at the configuration file it's quite simple what i have done is i am just specifying that what all parameters will be displayed on my x axis so it is I am saying that my because I have to display a month on my x axis, so my month should start with number 1 and it should display till number 12 and it should be incremented by 1, which means I have to display all the 12 months of the year. Then on my y axis, my unit sales is varying from 0 to 100 and I am displaying it by a difference of 10. So I have created my chart config. Okay, so before uh, drawing the chart, whenever the user clicks on this display chart button, one more thing which I want is, I want my legend view to be visible again. So I am just setting its hidden value to be false. So once you display the chart, your legend is equally visible. So the first part of drawing the axis is done. The configuration is done. Now, I am going to specify the frame that on my view where this chart will be displayed. So again, it's a simple function. 
I am going to call CG rect and going to specify the value for my frame. I have a frame. I have my configuration axis. Now it's time to draw the line chart. So here it goes. I have created a line chart. To save the time, I, have, I am not typing each and every value, but I'll just explain you what all things are going on here. I am calling a initializer of my line chart class and I am creating an instance of it with the name chart. It has various parameters. The first one as the name represents, I am going to specify the frame where my chart will be displayed. What are the configurations of my chart? That is here we have defined my chart configuration with the x and y axis value. The name, the title for my x and y axis. Now there is one important parameter and very handy to use that is lines. In this lines, you're going to create an array and this will be an array of all the lines that you have to display on your chart. So it doesn't restrict you to display only one or two lines. You can display a number of lines. All you have to do is you have to create your own chart points. And in that chart points, again, you're going to have an array of dictionary, which will represent your X and Y coordinate and a color that what your what is the color of your line so only you have to specify these two informations and your chart points will be drawn so this is how you have created your line chart class you have initialized your line chart class again similar to our bar chart we are just going to add this line chart on my view so what we have to do, we have to call self.view.add subview and we have to add this chart view. First thing you have to do is you have to link your global chart view to the given chart. So good to go. Now it's time to run the application and see how your line chart looks like. Great. So your application is ready to run. When I click on the display chart button, you can see a multi-line beautiful chart is displayed on the screen. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed my video. If you want to learn more about iOS programming, you can subscribe to my channel. And if you want to learn some customized topic, you can always drop me a mail. Thank you.